Welcome back to Bullet Catcher Gaming. It is Lee here, Bacon Soldier 76, and this is Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Uh, now, this is another episode for um, specialist units, military, and police, and uh, this one is the GIGN. Okay, so the GIGN, uh, they are the elite police tactical unit of the French National uh, Gendarmerie, if that's pronounced properly. Um, its missions include counterterrorism. Hostage rescue, surveillance of national threats, protection of government officials, and targeting organised crime. Uh, they were created on March, oh, sorry, in March of 1974, and obviously they're running concurrently. Some of their notable significant operations: uh, the Air France Flight 8969, which was a hijacking; the UVA Cave Hostage Recovery in 1988. Grand Mosque seizure in 1979, and Loyada hostage rescue in 1976. Uh, okay, so what we'll do then, we'll go and have a look at three different loadouts um, of uh, varying types, and uh, we'll also have a look at their badge just after this, uh, and then we'll get into the loadout. Right, okay, well, let's have a quick look at their badge. Okay, so here we are, then we're load out first one. Uh, okay, let's do a quick 360, as you can see. Looks quite cool. Okay, so from the top down, then we've got the riot helmet in black. Uh, he's wearing the uh, Under Armour Heat Gear Tactical Balaclava in black. Um, he's got an earpiece in. Now, obviously, from the picture that I'm uh, looking at, uh, that uh, this is modelled from, he's actually got uh, a headset on, but... Um, it won't let you attach a headset on this, um, so I'm just gonna have to do with uh, make do with an earpiece. Okay then, so he's wearing the uh, the combat shirt in solid blue, the wolf vest in black. Um, the picture again that I've got, he has got like a groin protector and also uh, the padded neck. Um, but also I wanted to show the padded neck more than the, the groin, so I can't have. Both, so I've sort of gone gone for one or the other, and I've gone for the padded neck, as you can see. The uh, he's got the neck, uh, almost like a collar, on the body armour. Uh, right, okay. So then we've got the um, his gloves are the Wolf Extreme fingerless gloves in black, uh, fix it pants in solid blue, and then the Under Armour infill boots in black. And as you can see, he's carrying uh, an M4A1. Okay, well what do we go and have a look at him in the environment and uh, see what it looks like uh, up against uh, his environment. Right, okay, so here we are with uh, this GIGN trooper. Obviously, uh, GIGN are going to be dealing with counterterrorism, so probably most of the time they're going to be dealing with sort of uh, buildings, that sort of stuff. So it's not really going to blend in camouflage wise. To uh, sort of like the uh, the outdoor surroundings, he looks quite cool. I quite like it. Quite accurate to the picture. Obviously, there's a few things that, that I can't do, like say with the microphone and stuff like that. But he looks quite good. Okay, so let's move on to um, the second one. Right, here we go then with loadout number two. Uh, okay, uh, so this is have a quick 360 of this one. Here we go. It's got the MP5 silenced. Okay then, so from the top down, we've got the ACH uh, ballistic helmet in olive green with the PS15 ATN goggles. Then he's got the Ops Core amp headset uh, in black. Uh, he's wearing the Under Armour Heat Gear Balaclava, and that's in black. Uh, the G3 Combat Shirt in solid blue. The Black Hawk Strike Vest in black. 511 Tac A2 gloves, uh, they're in black. Uh, the Fix It Pants in solid blue, and ordinary uh, combat boots. Uh, you know, not too bad. Uh, I know it's a little bit similar to the other one uh, in terms of the uh, the blue, but I mean. They're cops. Uh, they're an anti-terrorist unit. They wear black uh, overalls, uh, and obviously 
the best I can do is with a combat shirt and the fix-it pants. They don't have an overall uh, on this game, uh, lacking many things, uh, as usual. Uh, so anyway, that's what he looks like there. So let's have a look at him uh, against the environment and uh, see what he looks like. Okay, here we have loadout number two. Um, there you go. As you can see, he's got uh, the MP5 uh, silenced. So it's uh, something else that's different about uh, the other one. Um, as I say, you know that he's he's, uh, he's wearing the blue uh, blue coveralls they would normally be, but we don't have sort of blue coveralls uh, or overalls as you, you want to call them. So you know, I've gone with the best I can. Anyway, um, right as you can see. Uh, indoor environments and stuff like that he would blend in fairly well but being outside in rural areas up against greenery and stuff like that in this sort of outfit you're not going to blend in but being law enforcement they're going to tend to be dealing more with uh, indoor stuff terrorism that sort of stuff rather than being out and about that would be down to um, the military but let's put him in an outside environment anyway oh there's a drone just leave it alone for now. Um, so let's put him in the prone position. And there you go. You put him in some greenery. He's going to stick out like I saw from. Um, doesn't blend in very well at all. So there we go. That's loadout number two. Quick look. And we'll have a look at loadout number three. Okay, here we go with the third and final loadout. Now, the picture I've taken this from, uh, it's quite possibly the guy's doing a bit of training. They're not wearing vests, they're not wearing helmets. They've just got balaclavas on and their black gear and uh, and weapons. So here we go. Uh, this is what they will look like uh, doing their training sessions. Okay, so then from top to bottom, we've got the uh, Under Armour uh, heat gear balaclava in black. The G3 combat shirt in black. He's got Black Hawk patrol gloves in black and the fix it pants in black with combat boots in black as well. As I say, it's uh, he's probably uh, training, but you never know uh, in an environment where they get dropped in quickly because uh, it's a uh, fast moving scenario and uh, they might just go in with uh, weapons not have any time to to gear up I, I doubt that would happen but you never know okay so let's go and have a look at the environment uh, and what it would look like we have loadout number three uh, in, in the environment again it's like the others um, they're, they're going to be for fighting in built up areas or close quarters combat close quarters battle whatever you want to call it um, it doesn't look too bad it looks a little, <laughs> little, bit, little like a uh, bit of a ninja with a gun But there we go, that's what he looks like. Let's just put him into uh, the prone position and see what he would look like. Um, get down there. Okay. Looks, it blends in a little bit better than you would do in, in the blue, um, especially if you were a little bit further away. Let's get him right there, get the camera down, see. You can just about see his bonce, or his head, rather. And for those of you who don't know what bonce means, bonce means head. Um, okay. So there we go, that's what it looks like. Uh, not too bad. He's all dirty, what a shame. Uh, but this would be probably, uh, as I say, training kit. I can't imagine him going out fighting um, terrorists and stuff like that without any body armour, uh, without loads of mags and stuff like that. Um, it looks quite cool though. Quite like it. Right, okay, that is it, that is uh, loadouts 1, 2 and 3 for the French GRGN. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, as always, it's been, been enjoyable for me and uh, giving uh, you guys these options to see. Have a crack at it yourselves and uh, see what you can come up with. Uh, on the Discord, if you're not a member already, get in there, sign up. Don't cost you anything, obviously. Uh, the community is growing, it's massive, it's getting bigger and bigger all the time and more and more people are joining obviously on the channel as well we're at over 4,000 subscribers so thank you guys, thanks for all those that have been supporting us and all you new members that are, uh, that are supporting us as well we appreciate it, 
We're on Twitter as well, so you can find us on there. Uh, as I say, thanks for watching. Uh, stick a comment in the comment section below. Uh, on the Discord, there is a uh, chat room for uh, Bacon's loadouts. If you go in there, any ideas you want, any suggestions, stuff like that, even pictures of loadouts you've done yourselves, whack it on there, and uh, I'll have a look, um, and we can try and uh, duplicate those in... Uh, one of the loadout videos, uh, and we'll uh, give you a shout out, give you a uh, name mention as well. All right, cheers, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.